some young life. Hello. That's one one eye, two eyes, three eyes. Okay, so there's people coming in so high. I'm just uh, I'm just going to give it a few minutes. There was a little bit of a blooper at the beginning there because my um, I was on landscape and it's got to be portraits. So I had to change my entire setup. So that involves um, I'm just going to try and find where I am on my camera. Okay, sorry because I've had to change the whole setup which I had practiced. I'm sure, you guys have come across this before. Anyway, hi from Ireland. Hi Laura, thank you for letting me know that I was telling the world that I was having a mild panic. Hello, hello everybody. Hi Ray, she was just fabulous watching you. Okay, so um, I'm going to sort of get going if that's okay. Um, so, uh, hi I'm Jo. Most people if you've seen me before, I need to make sure I look at the camera now, not at the screen. So, um, And I just need to tell you a few things about me really. Um, so... Uh, I sort of wear three hats in this foundation, or in my life, I suppose, really. And the reason I think these three hats are really important is because um, I was watching this, this e exact chat with Nicola the other night, and I was looking at the different questions that were coming up. And one, one question that I picked up on in particular came up lots and lots of times. So we'll go to that in a minute. But the reason I feel that I have perhaps... Oh, some way of answering some of those questions or helping to answer some of those questions is I wear three hats. First of all, my, a lot of my time is in education, so that's been as a sort of a music teacher, um, running a large music department or junior infant early years department, running peris, kids, teachers, sitting across the table with teachers and with parents like your, some of yourselves. I'm guessing I've got teachers, parents and all sorts out there. Um, and so that's my one hat. My second hat is, as a child, I had no help with my music. And that's not because mum and dad uh, didn't want, didn't help me in many ways, but they, they weren't musical at all. And I saw quite a few of those questions coming up. How do I help my child? I'm, I'm not really a musician, yeah, but they're loving it and I want to encourage them. So that's my other hat education, a child with no musical uh, family behind me to support. I mean, don't get me wrong, my dad was amazing. Uh, he carried me and my double bass over the entire length of Great Britain in his time in, while, I, while I needed it. And my third hat is I have, as a parent, uh, I have musical children. Um, and so I have that other hat, whereas, yes, I have musical children, but for those of you who are like me in that respect, we also understand that when you pour water onto a fire, it doesn't necessarily go well. Um, so we, you know, I'm going to sort of try and uh, talk from that angle as well. Anyway, so that's enough about me. Um, so the big question, uh, I'm, just, I'm just casting my eye on the screen, which is now there, not there. Um, okay, so I'm leaving all the people to sort all their individual problems out like I had to sort mine out. So, m big question that came up time and time again on Nicola's chat was, how do I help my child practice? What, the practice they need to do. Any useful, helpful advice? So, um, I'm going to put on my Kadai hat. I didn't tell you about that one, did I? But I suppose that's part of my um, uh, teaching. Okay, so... You may not be, I'm a double bass player, I, would, I can show some techniques of violin, viola, and etc. But it's very different to the double bass, very different. So, and it's also, I would never clue with a trumpet, I would never clue with a, uh, an oboe, or, you know. So, what one single thing can help all those people, and my answer, and I live in a house, or I did, still have one here, a house full of percussionists. So for me, the biggest answer, and I've now got to get this in the right place because it we all moved, is rhythm. Oh, it's upside down. You see? Rhythm. There we go. Rhythm. So that's my big thing. So that's what I want to help you with 
perhaps you can help your child with tonight, okay? So for those of you who are musicians, I apologize if I say things in different ways, but this is the Padai terminology of uh, rhythmic stuff. And it all starts, as we know, with the pulse, okay? It starts with heartbeats, feel the heartbeat, feel the heartbeat, yeah? Okay, you know? So if we've got a pulse, and uh, by the way, this is interactive. This is not you sitting there listening and watching me work really hard. This is you joining in, okay? So please, please join in with me, whether you are a Kodai specialist or whether you are Auntie Edna sitting on the backside, sitting out while I'm going along, okay? Sitting in the back thinking, do you know what? I can help my child. This. They can help me with this. How about that? The teacher, the child becoming the teacher. So we have the heartbeat going. I'm feeling the heartbeat and I have to remember to go back to back. Heartbeat, 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 okay? So we can turn that quite easily and notice there are no blobs. Don't need blobs in rhythm. Don't need blobs in rhythm because we're not using the pitch. We're just saying them like in a rhyme, not in uh, a tune. So now... The first name I'm going to give you, I have a cheat sheet if you, for those who are eagle-eyed behind me. If you look at it behind me and then you look down the side of it, you will see a cheat sheet for this. But you probably, unless you're on a, uh, can't see the names, okay? But um, I will try and find a moment in this session, for those who would like it, to put that up, hold it so you can take a snapshot, a screenshot, and save it if you need it, okay? Please someone remind me to do that, Laura, at some point, okay? So here we go. So this is our changing from our heartbeat to just, we know them as crotchets, quarter notes, ta, 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 Whichever way you go, I'm confused as to which way I'm going. I'm going to go, I've got to go that way, haven't I? Ta, 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 ta. Have we all got that? Are you saying it with me? Are you feeling the pulse? Pulse never, ever, ever stops. Ta, 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 ta. We're going to move on really quickly because you are adult learners and your brains work really quickly and you can multitask. We've added two together, okay? These two here, okay? So, most people say te, te. I say t, t. Spell t, e, t, e for obvious reasons of writing it down for those that are quick enough. Be careful, yeah? So, obviously there's a half a pulse. Ti, ti, ta, ta, ta. They are eighth notes, quavers. It's, it's the only one that works, quaver, that says the rhythm, quaver. But I'm going to stick to my kodai because that works. Ta, ti, ta, ta, ta. Ta, ti, ta. Are you saying with me? Ta, ti, ta, ta. We're going to move on. I'm going to move to another flashcard. Read what it says. Ta, 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 ta. Are you keeping up? Because they're going to come thick and fast until I get to the end of this particular section. Here comes another one. Off we go. Ta, 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 ta. Have you got it? Ready? Again. Ta, 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 ta. You getting the idea? Have you still got the pulse going? I'm going up and down. My foot's going. My bass drum is going to the pulse. Oh, that's the same one. Ha ha! This is a very important one. We're going to come back to this one sh later on. Take, 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 take. Say it after, off you go. Easy, isn't it? You see? But what we're doing is we're saying the rhythm, which is so important. It absolutely, on a, it's fundamental. The only one more thing that's more fundamental for being putting all this together is the pulse which is still going on in my foot sadly you can't see that but hopefully you can see my leg moving yeah i can't do all those clips oh here's another one another new one so that's not rid ridiculously different from a rest that's written clearly it's really tricky to write quarter rests or crotchet rests here we go ready steady off we go Ta, 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 rest. Am I saying that the right way around? I'm not. I'm playing it backwards. I'm looking in that monitor. I should just see what I say. Say what I see. Off, <laughs> off we go. Rest. Ta, ta, 
So that's a whole lift. It takes up a whole pulse. Yeah. I'm going at super speed. I'm sure you can keep up. Ready? Let's have another go. Ta, ta, ta. If you're clever, you get the child to do the rest in their internal voice, because then that's exactly what they do when they translate their, their instrument. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Okay? Let's move on with a few more rest co uh, combinations. Ready? Steady. Off I go. Ta, ti, ta. Rest, ta. Did you get that right with me? Let's say it again. Off we go. Ta, ta, ta. Ta. Did you do it internally? Well done. Uh, just a few more. This is just a few more. Let's just do them. Ready? We're going to go one after the other. Off we go. Rest. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ti. Ta, ti, ti. Rest. Oh, we've got another rhythm. Except I'm going to have to do that one that way, aren't I? Because this is the only one you can't. And the only reason is because I've got a blob. Okay? Ta becomes ta. Because there are two of them. Yes? Ta. Had somebody mentioned the fact that the danger of doing a crescendo on this is it ta. Which is not good on an up bow, is it? And, it, uh, and when we're playing. So maybe just that feeling of ta. Ta, ta, two pulses, ta, and then we add the rest, say what you see, ta, ta, ti, ti, ready, good, okay, now, I'm going to, I'm moving on a rapid speed because I want to move on to something that's appropriate to what you're going to help them practice this week, is that okay, and we need a few more rhythms for that, so we have a new one in here, so we've got take T, take T and ta, and the one that's 16th notes, have I got that right? Eight, 16th, yes, 16th notes. And one of my favorites, and certainly the kids' favorites, is ticker ticker. Say it with me, ticker ticker. This is the pulse, ticker ticker. Ticker ticker, let's say this one. Take T, ticker ticker, take T, ta. You got it? Say it again. Take T, ticker ticker, take T, ta. Good. Am I getting positive comments? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping it's useful. You'll see where we're going now. You've got to say what you see. This one here is divided up. We've got ticker and a T. Ticker, 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 T. Ticker, 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 T. Just that first bit. But a bit on its own. Ticker, 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 T. Ticker, 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 T. Tick, tick, ta. Ticker, 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 tee, 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 ta. You keeping up? So there will be a cheat sheet. And if your kids do this, it makes the world of difference. Ticker, 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 tee, 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 ta. Next one. Off you go. Ticker, tee, say what you see. Ticker, tee, 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 ta, ta. Okay. Oh, we've got the other way around now. Tee, ticker. Which is saying exactly what you see. Okay, let's have a go at this one here. T, ticker, T, T, ta, ta. It just makes reading rhythms so easy. If you can say it, you can play it. I'll say that again. If you can say it, you can play it. Ah, now here's the really, really important rhythm for this three weeks for everybody. Has anybody spotted something they might recognize in their child's music? Here we go, and we've got a new one here, which is, oh, I struggled trying to remember how to say this in quarters and sixteenths and all that thing. It is a dotted eighth and a sixteenth. I forgot that line. It doesn't look like that in the music because you'll discover in a minute, but the words that you say to say that rhythm, I'm sure there are many other versions, but the Kadai one is Timri, Timri, because T... You can't split up ticker ticker because it doesn't come off the tongue. So, ta, tim, re, te, te, ta. Say it with me. Off we go. Ta, tim, re, te, te, ta. Here's another one. It comes up the front. Tim, re, te, 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 ta. Do you recognise that rhythm, anybody? Hmm. That's going to be a favourite. Uh, here comes another one. Off we go. 
starting sorry i'll start it's okay to get things wrong i'm reading it upside down and backwards so please bear with me off we go ta tim ridi ti ta oh now we're going to get complicated ticka ticka te ti tim rita say it with me ticka ticka te ti tim rita and so on let's make this one the last one ready steady off we go Ticka ticka tim ri ticka ti ti ticka. Woo! Okay. So, if you can do all those things, bear with me while I just pull something into shot, you can start looking at these with your children. Let me just let me get it so you can all see it. Can you see that? Just need to get pen. I promise you this isn't a school lesson. It's just something that I thought would be really useful for people. I'm trying to get it more in shot. No, I need to come, I need to come that way. There we go. So, these, believe it or not, are rhythms that your children will be playing this week, okay? They'll be putting lots of notes on them. They'll be putting slurs. They'll be doing bowings. They'll be doing articulation. But these are the fundamental rhythms. And everybody sitting in and looking at me now can do these, okay? So, Obviously, see if you can recognise. See if I can read it. I hope you can read those. Can you? Is that close enough? I'm hoping so. So I'm going to go a bit slower. Okay. So we've got rests, and we've got what's that rhythm there? We've just done it. Tick -tick. Okay. So this is the pulse. One, two, one, two. Tick a tick. Tick a tick. Tick a tick. Tick a tick. Okay, so if your child can say that rhythm, they are halfway towards being playing to playing it because they know where it lives. They know where it lives in the rhythmic jigsaw that is playing in an orchestra, even though they're playing it at home on the screen like I'm looking at the bare wall now. If I was playing it, that's what I would be thinking. All the other, all the other instruments, all the other rhythms that are going on in the mix, yeah? Let's just do that once more, and then we're going to add something to it, yeah? So, if your child can read it, easy, I can read that one, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, let's make it trickier, okay? So, at the minute, we've got the bare bones. Ready? One, two, let's go. Tickety, 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 ticker ticker. Now, what happens if, in your music, and I know it is because I've got a little bit of blue paper that tells me, this is in the intermediate cello part, okay? I know that there is one of those there. Can you see that? That's an accent. That's an accent. There's an accent at the beginning of every second beat. And actually, there's an accent just there, but I ran out of paper. Sorry. Okay. So, we can go... Tickety. 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 Ticker ticker. And if your child can say that, then you can add the bowing. Tickety, 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 ticker, ticker. You got the idea? Are we, yeah? You see how you can help them? So let's move on now. This one here, this one you'll recognise straight away, hopefully, when you say the rhythm. If you don't, you have been sitting outside not listening to your child practice. Okay? So this is the same pulse, steady, really steady pulse. Never go too fast. So... You know what I said earlier on, that really important rhythm, Timri, I'm going to write it bigger underneath, okay? This is the rhythm that is so important this week. It's in my warm-up next week, okay? For those look, looking for a warm-up that a child is struggling with this rhythm. Timri. Here, it's been written uh, very Americanly with, like that, and then they've put that in it and made this a 16th, yeah? Does that help? Yes? So, the rhythm is Tim Rittick. It's really hard to say this and not sing the tune. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying really hard not to. I'm going to say it, not sing it, okay? Tip, ready, steady, off we go. Tim Rittick, a tick, a Tim Rittick, a tick, a Tim Rittick, a tick, a ta, ta. You got it? Who recognises it? Who's got it? Who's got it? Anybody got it? Let's do it again. Ready, steady, off we go. 
Why is this important? It's really hard for younger children because especially um, especially children who speak English, particularly sort of English children as opposed to English as another language, English in language like an American or whatever. But we speak in very much a sing-songy type of accent. And we sing, we tend to speak in 6-8 or we tend to speak in compound time or we sing songs. A lot of our folk songs are in compound time. They're not in straight time, in simple, simple duple time like this. So we're really good at doing one of these, okay? Can you see that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the board up. We're really good at actually doing those. We don't find those particularly hard because we're used to singing do be do do be do do be do do be triple it, triple it, triple it, triola, triola. So it's really hard to make this really spiky and it'd be exactly one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So by using the word tim written, written tim written, written, that this bit, this note here, this actually belongs to this little group, doesn't it? Tim, written, written, tim, ba, 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 ba. I'm going to sing the tune now because I can't not. Ba, 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 be, ba, 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 be, ba, 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 be, ba, ba, be, ba. Yeah, are you getting the idea? Move to the next one. I don't want to spend ages doing this because I want. I've got. I've got a floor full of kit. Okay, let's do this one. This is. It looks easy, doesn't it? Tick a 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 tick I didn't do the I didn't do the crescendo. It's okay to get things wrong. Let's do it again. And with the crescendo. It's almost not quite. Ready? Steady. Okay. Then if you want to be very clever, you can get your child to bow it, because that's what happens in the violin part. I can't remember which variation it is. I'm sure Nicholas W. Okay. 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 And the articulation is hard because this comes in the middle of the bow. But if they already know where it is in their head, because the rhythm is fundamentally in there, before they try and do the tricky bit, which is put the notes on the top of it. Yeah. Am I making some sense? I hope I'm making some sense. Now this is my favourite one. The last. This is the last one of these demo ones. So for this one, if you're sitting down comfortably, you're going to have to stand up in a minute because I don't do anything without joining in. All right. So we have my heartbeat at the top, which represents the pulse. Everybody shares the same pulse, no matter what we're doing, no matter what. Actually, this bit comes from a steadier pulse. This is a variation that is steadier. So that's my steadier pulse. OK, so the rhythm is really easy, isn't it? Let's all say the rhythm. Okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, so why is this hard? It's hard because it's pizzicato and because it's slower. They're used to a faster rhythm. It's slower. They will rush without a doubt. And to make it even worse, sorry, my beautiful Sua and uh, David, it's in the cellos, okay? So they will rush, I guarantee they will rush. So how do we try and make them? The only way is to feel this. So everybody on your feet, right? I'm looking, even you over there, yes, on your feet. So I'm afraid you probably can't see my feet because that's the way it is. So here's my pulse, pulse, pulse in my feet. I'll try and show it in body language, okay? So here's now, because it's pizzicato, I want you to click them, okay? Because clicking makes lead to preparation. Pizzicato needs preparation. Okay, I'm just going to see if I can get a bit more in the picture. Sorry, only half of me. Ready? Got the pulse going? Pulse, pulse, pulse. Here we go. You got it? Now can we do the hairpins? Oh, let's get the pulse going, sorry. 
pulse, pulse. Are you with me? Hope you're with me. Here we go. Now, if that isn't tricky enough, I may think, oh, I can do that, Mom. That's easy peasy. So, right, here's a challenge. Put the pulse in your hands and do the rhythm in your feet, including the crescendo. Okay, ready? So let's put the pulse in our hands. Now I can't see my feet. Hopefully you can see at least my legs moving. Okay, ready, steady, here we go. What did I do? I didn't keep the pulse going. You're gonna do it again for me, ready? Okay, to get things wrong, especially when you're live and you're playing to the television. Let's go again. Pulse, pulse, help me out, pulse. Pulse, ready with your feet? Don't forget to push as well. Off we go. I got it wrong. So I hope that gives you something that you can take to your children. And do you need to be in their practice rooms when they're practicing? I don't know. I'm not your child, I'm not you, you know your children. Some children Hey, I, my guys hated, I was like, I banished. In fact, the, the door was slammed, go out. But if you can make challenges for them, or quizzes, or whatever positive terminology you can find, get that fundamental stuff in there, and the rest, tutors and their teachers will sort out. I hope that's of some help for people across the spectrum. Okay, so, um, I was asked, and I know Laura put on my thing, um, I did have a bit of a reputation at, when I was at school um, that I could play, I could make a sound out of anything, right? So you guys, just like me, are locked at home. Now I've, I've got some of the stuff uh, that I've made today or I've made in the past, created stuff or that you can just have around your house. And they sort of come in about three or four brackets, okay? So, um, <coughs> first bracket is, sorry, I'm referring to my notes so I get them not in a muddle. What you might have in your household anyway, which you tend to collate because, oh, they've got a musical child and someone sees that on holiday. Oh, we'll take that back to them. Yes, okay. So um, you might have one of these, you know, shakers. Shakers. Simple shakers. So, so how, what do you use those for? Just exploring, just having fun, keeping the pulse. Yeah? What happens if you turn it around? Play the voice. I'm trying really hard not to encroach on um, the percussionist because this is their department. But I'm trying to think of things that you would have that equate. Uh, things like the, the, the big Guerrero frogs. Those sort of things, yeah? Um, not to encroach. These things turned up on my... Um, I'm just sorry, in the wrong thing. These things turned up on my... Christmas table as crackers. They are tuned. Well, they were, okay. So what could you do with these? You sort them out and you have fun. You have fun sitting around a table with the kids playing them. I've got a whole packet full. In fact, I think I've got two octaves. Why? I don't know, because we're a musical family. People buy these things for you. So what would that teach your child? If they've only got two of these and they've got to play only those two notes, in a line, in a melody, they are, in fact, doing so much musical work, especially if they get it totally on the pulse, right in the right place, right place, they're following the music, they're following somebody else's music and putting their bit in. Does that sound familiar if you're an orchestral player? It does, doesn't it? So, fun things that are around the house. Um, uh, these always used to make everybody laugh. They are exactly what you think they are but they are unused, okay? They are the toilet brushes, uh, Ikea toilet brushes, and um, at school, they were totally and utterly um, unbreakable. Totally unbreakable. Uh, <laughs> I've just had a little, my, 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 uh, my butler's just come in with a message, sorry. Um, unbreakable, because when you've got little boys who want to hit everything, um, and I think these were something like, I don't know, um, uh, five 
apparent, apparently it's just something and they come with a nice little container to put put the pens at the same time okay so things like that but they're really good for hitting things with because this is soft yeah and it doesn't dent stuff um great in our little outdoor garden where we have rubbish look we had a rubbish outdoor garden music garden they were fabulous what else have i got here okay i've got things like um these are the these are the real uh, mccoy these are um what they call um made from bamboo sticks they're rods which make a softer sound can you see that they're made from rods if i hold it like that here's ones i made earlier okay these are made from outdoor bamboo sticks and really effective again for doing the rhythm stuff you've just done like just having fun you know putting a riff together you know you two kids or at the very least keeping the pods okay um my tray is growing um this is probably the most useful thing in your house i'm not a del crows expert by any shape of a donkey's tail i've done a few courses and drawn from it the stuff that works for me okay a ball shows duration i'll say that again a ball shows duration it shows how long a note is because it physically has to travel from one pulse or from one thing to another so if i was to throw it and catch it and i was to do um, just the pulse 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 obviously i'm throwing it i would normally bounce it but you can't see that pulse pulse and the or you can do up catch up catch up catch you can see where i'm coming from here you can bounce it you can show long duration short duration by getting really close to the floor and bouncing it like that yeah and most children uh, who are instrumentalists usually fly, have great ball dexterity also good for that isn't it you know because you're showing space and awareness and all those things great things bold great any any rhyme any game any little song that you already know with any age child it's a challenge it's a great thing or just rolling it rolling it from one space to another um uh, i have a lot of these sort of puppet things i'll just show you this is my i've got a, i'll show you them all so we've got um we've got a little peter rabbit there and we've got incy wincy spider great for ickle ones these are the sort of things that you might have smaller versions of you know you pick them up from holiday things uh, this is my favorite one because this is marcel marceau he is my inner voice okay so he pops up so if i'm singing a song so if i'm singing of we son and son and when he comes up i have to mime of we son and son and of we son and son and son and son if anybody knows that song or any song okay so that is putting that tune into the child's head I'm going at super speed here because I've got lots more to show you. Um, okay, so those are the things that you might accumulate. I've got one, one more thing, a couple of things here. Excuse me ducking and diving on the floor. Um, I really haven't got anything very much to actually demonstrate this on. So I'm going to demonstrate one on the other. This is just a little garden brush, kids garden brush, yeah? Really hard to do. But that would be done on the floor again just like you know for the jazz uh you can use uh, different ones it's just a scrubbing brush i know um when elsa was doing her looking at her creative stuff um, the other day or her video um and she was showing you uh lots of pots and pans different things i'm just i suppose i'm trying to give you a little bit more extra on the top of that um, what I didn't show you, which was something which I just came up with today, was with my rods. So I have some tent poles here, just tent poles. They work very much the same. Does that rhythm again? Okay. Um, things I've made, things I've made. Okay, so. Um, lots of sticks i've got two types of sticks here these were some out of a shoe box uh, lots of gaffer tape on the top so that you don't uh, split um they make great great sticks for just you know the world's your oyster 
whatever it might be. Um, these are cut up uh, broom, broom handles and lovingly sprayed with car paint, as is my patio, yes. They sound really good because they've got a bit more sound to them. So you could use it as a clay, but they're much more fun to throw, to change and have play all sorts of games with. Or just pass it on, pass it on, using the pots, pass it on. Got the idea? Yeah? Um, bigger poles, exactly the same thing, only these are, these are, these are complete broom handles, okay? Or where I've come from they were called stales, a broom stale, okay? And uh, anybody, any stump people out there, please, please, these are the sort of, you know, you can, all that sort of thing, or one small one, and the big one, which is what a lot of stump guys use, isn't it? Um, combinations of. And probably my favourite homemade instrument is this, if I can show it to you. It's, um, it's a tube for a poster, and it needs a bottom on it. So you've got a return of sound, but it makes a beautiful sound. I hope you can hear that. So you can have a simple rhythm like one that most children would know. The football clap or the chant or, you know, whatever that is. And you can divide it up. of things but almost importantly just have fun making them making all this stuff so that you can put it all together um, where have I got to I've got to um, over here I've got a cajon for those that don't know what a cajon is it's a wooden box which you sit on and play okay so it's a South American box. It's got a little snare inside it. So obviously you won't have one of those in your house, but you do have, and excuse the, um, the fact that it's a wine box, <clears throat> you do have a box, yeah? Now I'm not going to sit on this because it'll collapse because it's only got that much gaffer tape on it, okay? But if I play it on my tummy like this, okay, excuse me, percussionist for my probably not very good technique but it doesn't matter i'm having fun i'm exploring different things made out of different things um you think about and it makes children think about looking after stuff that's a really important point isn't it you know they have these amazing instruments um and very very lucky to have them so if they if you give them ownership of something if they've made it created it decorated it drawn a story on it for the music that they're going to play or they're, they're creating in their head then they've got ownership that's not the ownership of the wine by the way <laughs> that's the other room okay so uh where have i got to i'm getting pretty close to questions so any questions please 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 i know laura's going hopefully if there are any she's going to send me some um so we're now moving on to the thing that i don't know whether laura put it out on facebook these are my extensions these are for the uh, dads out there, or I'm not saying that, just mums as well, because I make these, who like to be a little bit more adventurous, or the older children, with the help of mum and dad. Okay, so if I bring this really close to the camera, this is a waste paper bin, okay? It's a waste paper bin, and with <laughs> care and thought, I put lots of little holes all the way around it. All those little, where those little spots are, they're all holes, okay? And in those holes, I have put, lovingly, a screw and a nut, not quite done up, a bit like Ryan Airways airplanes, okay? All right. So when you hit your tip, I'll come away from the camera, it'll be very loud, sorry. If I do that, I can, I can sizzle it. So it's got like a side drum sizzler. Now I've got lots and lots on this. You don't necessarily have to have, I think there's about 14 in there. You don't necessarily have to have 40, you could just have 10, you know, around the drum or a dozen. I've actually put some, a, a, an old, um, some jingles on it as well, but you could use washers. I've got, this was a broken tambourine that I used, and I just put the jingles around them. So, uh, so you've got a sound that's not, 
We have lots of fun. Again, stomp lovers, you see them sliding them across the floor, catching them, throwing them to the pulse, to the pulse, to the pulse. Just like my ball, yeah? Showing duration, showing space, showing the length of a whole note, showing the length of a quarter note, yeah? All right? And my last and final one before it's question time, if I can get this in the shot, it'll be a miracle there. But I did promise you, this is, whoops, this is my, um, <laughs> we had a, a downstairs toilet put in quite recently. And uh, this bit wasn't used, okay? So this is my toilet, or loo tube, okay? So what do you play a loo tube with? Flip flops. hands, notice the dexterity of a bass player, we have an, let's, have a, let's have a groove, let's have, um, let's have, like a tango, play this this was I created this because um, we played it with sticks and for people that are old as old as me and remember Donna Summers and I feel love. but you do need more than one person to play because you need someone to manipulate the pitches and having spent a long time at B and Q these are the only ones that slide in and out of each other our toilet ones okay so that's I hope giving you a little bit of an insight into what you can do to have fun in your house with your kids how you can help them with their um, how you can help them with their practice rhythm pulse pulse rhythm rhythm pulse pulse if you can say it you can play it right so have I got any questions? Um, Laura said she was going to send me some. Laura says, so far, no questions. Oh, well, here's one. If my children are already reading music, can introducing them to Kadai rhythm cause confusion? Do you know what? No. I'm going to be really honest, no. Because they are sort of saying the rhythms, and if your teacher is teaching them, they will be clapping the rhythms. So if you're clapping the rhythm... So, for example, you're going to say, let's look at one of the rhythms. Let's forget to give a, a, a simple flash card up. So let's just say that's, that's the one that they're reading, okay? I have to do it this way, then I know it's the same way as you, yeah? Ta, 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 ta. Okay. So the teacher would say, or you would say, if I can use my tune, they would say, ta. But how do you know that's right? How do you know it's exactly equal? If you use the words the words do it for you it's just like poetry isn't it it's like the um in poetry when you have um words have escaped me because my brain's now dead but it's uh, you know so it says it for you ta tick tick ta ta tick tick ta you can use different body parts for the different ones uh, if i'm teaching little children i would go tars are usually on my lap or in my, on my legs and tick takes there Ticker ticker is a knock on the door. Ticker ticker. So T ticker would be T ticker. Or ticker ticker T. Tree all that. You can do what you like. I usually get the child to make that one up. They have fun. Ta ah. But be careful you don't um, make a crescendo, particularly for up bow considerations. Um, so I would say no. Never underestimate your child. Your child can take on so many different things. They already do, don't they? 
they already take on so many different things. They, I mean, the English language itself is a combination of different words. That the same words, I'm going to be right, same word means different things. So why can't they, if they understand what it means, it's just another way of saying it. You know, do we say, uh, it's a crotchet? <laughs> that's crotchet, isn't it? Uh, that's, that doesn't tell you very much. Um, is it a quarter note? It doesn't really help for either. Um, tar, I rest my case. Especially when it's over the pulse. Titi. Ticker ticker. Triola. Whatever. Whatever, yeah? Okay, so there are so many different things that it's, it really is. It speaks, it speaks the language of rhythm. And that's why it's so good. And, and I, can, I can absolutely tell you, your child will be so engaged. I've taught in some lots of different types of schools. And the one thing I can guarantee to engage all the children with, from the naughty little boys to Miss Goody Two Shoes with her ass at the other end, is this. I guarantee you. Um, that's my experience. Okay, so. Hopefully, that has answered your question. Um, what is the best way to stop them rushing from Alison? The pulse, of the pulse subdivision. So if it's, uh, we did this earlier on, didn't we? So if we have T, 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 particularly pizzicato, because it's a short note, it feels like there's a rest and we're rubbish at having rests, aren't we? We want to fill it in. Can you hear what's going on? Or... If I did that in my feet, in my head, I this is T T I would be going sending the subdivision. Does that help? Metronomes are fantastic, but they are very dictatorial. It's much more fun if the child has an inner metronome and checks it against the metronome. The, the me mechanical one or the digital one. Yeah, does that help? Um, am I, um, okay. Um, I've got, there's, there's one or two things on um, coming out next week. There's one of my warm-ups next week is is a hacker, which is very rhythmic, body percussion, whatever. And it goes into cano. And interestingly enough, when I was recording it, I had a metronome on and I really struggled to get to that metronome to get all the four, the four part canon together with myself. And as soon as I took the metronome away and relied on this, I found it so easy. Does that tell me that I'm not metro, and, and even my husband said it was better, so that was a real vote of confidence because he is an ace percussionist, yeah? Um, so, you know, as a string player, I feel very lowly in that department. So, um, so hopefully, I hope that answers your question. There's more coming in. How would you say 16th note bead? Oh, here we are. This is where I have to get my my um, my nomenclature on. How would you say 16th note bead to a dotted eighth note in Kodai? So 16th note is so that so that's basically twice as fast, isn't it? Have I got that right? 16. I tell you what, that person that's asked that question, can I give that some thought? Because I don't want to get it wrong. Is that okay? Because I've got to work out the nomenclature and my brain is Friday night fuzzled. It's been a long week. Um, that's not to denote. So if you ask, ask um, if you send that question into Laura, I will answer that question and we'll post it out if that's helpful to everybody. Um, any recommendations for best homemade rhythm instruments for children who don't have great rhythm or pulse? Um, ball. Uh, if they're old enough to have ball dexterity, that will be my first one. Your body. That would be my first recommendation, okay? Because if you give a child an instrument, uh, and I've seen this a thousand times, you give a child a pair of these, and they are you are giving them <laughs> a treasure chest. <laughs> how fast can I play? Yeah, how difficult can I make it do it? Keep it simple, play the pulse. You have to always tell a child that this is the hardest thing they will ever do. 
the best thing they will ever do, the most important thing they will ever do, and then internalise it. Take it away before, come back in. Come back in. Take it away for six. And be absolutely spot on, get them to close their eyes and do it. And so on. And are you together? Games like that. Um, so that, but, but, but yes, but, uh, boxes, boxes. And you use the hands. Don't give them anything else to deal with, yeah? Rhythm comes, so when you've gone from the body, go to something like my box, like my homemade wine cajon here. But don't give them a stick to play with. Hands, because it's tactile, it's part of them, yes? Because that's what we try and do with an instrument. We, we try and make the instrument part of them an extension of their hands, of their arms, of their head, of everything, as it becomes more and more felt. Um, I hope that answers that question. Uh, no, 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 no. For further reading and further learning. Oh, Lucinda. <laughs> I'm just going to say Lucinda. <laughs> she's, um, f for your children, she's written some amazing books. Look those up for Ny Nykos. Um, but uh, British Kodai, if you're interested in Kodai, uh, BKA, British Kodai Association Academy, there's, there's loads on there. And if you're, if, I know there are others in other countries. Um, what time is it? Goodness gracious me, I've gone on for far, far too long. I really, really hope that that's been helpful. Um, and if anybody's got any questions or anything, please hashtag um, the Ben Zeki Foundation. And if you, if you put... Uh, I'm my, if you put Joe on it, I'll try and help you, or Lucinda, or anything else, whatever it is. So, thank you for being there, uh, and I hope this has been some use. And if you get your kids to make some of these instruments and build them up, please, 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 please send me some videos, because I love it. I love to see what's going. So, from that point, I'm going to say, it's the end of the week. It's the end of the week. I am the last one of the week. And I am so looking forward to two days off. So thank you. And thank you for being so patient with my, uh, my array. Bye for now. Thank you.